Nike, the international study. Nike was founded by University of Oregon track athlete Phil Knight and his coach Bill Bowerman. The first products were distributed from the trunk of Phil Knight's car. They were inspired by Bill Bowerman's desire for better quality running shoes. Nike has since taken the athletic world by storm and has grown into a global conglomerate with a strong influence in the United States, United Kingdom, and China. Thus, Nike has a unified global front in terms of its items sold and marketing. It has become an easily recognizable brand all around the world due to this consistency. People from around the globe yearn for cheap, standardized, high-quality goods. It is both a fashion statement as well as utilitarian in the products it makes. In scanning the Nike website of all three countries, few differences can be seen. All the websites contain almost identical graphic layouts and products, display famous celebrities from their country at the same prices. Different visuals according to each country display American sports and mostly American athletes. Our store visit to a Dick's Sporting Goods in Richmond show the typical marketing strategies of Nike. Walking to the store, Nike was the clearly dominant brand with an enormous display of iconic products from shorts, socks, and shoes. Looking around, you can see the Just Do It logo, Nike swoosh, and the distinctive Nike orange boxes. Nike sports apparel has grown to encompass a range of different American sports, from swimming to lacrosse to basketball. We interviewed an American student on his experiences with the Nike brand. So, uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from New Jersey, uh, Summit, New Jersey. So, uh, do you like Nike, the brand, and like how often do you shop for Nike? Uh, yeah, I love Nike as a brand. Um, most of the time, I really I go there whenever I need like athletic shorts or compression shorts or a t-shirt. Um, I also go there for cleats. So, really. Nike is my go-to for athletic apparel. Uh, do a lot of people in your area uh, buy slash wear Nike footwear apparel, and how popular is it? Uh, it's pretty popular, especially uh, their shoes. I'd say that's the most popular aspect of Nike uh, from where I am. The United Kingdom, like the United States, is a high-income country with increasing economic growth. Although we couldn't visit Nike stores in the UK, Nike's prominence can be seen through its social media sites such as Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. The feeds are littered with flashy advertisements of vibrant colors and high-quality photos of well-known athletes in mid-action. The hashtags London's Fastest and Create the Future are trending everywhere, showing both Nike's popularity and prominence in society. The next country we focused on was China, where Nike is becoming more and more popular. Their current revenue is 4.2 billion US dollars and has been steadily growing over the last eight years. China sets many retail stores in cities because of the large population density. In one of our researchers' hometowns, there are over five well-run Nike stores in the city. Nike has even partnered with the Chinese government and the Ministry of Education to encourage physical activity by enlisting international trainers for local schools and sports leagues. We then interviewed a Chinese student on how prevalent Nike was around him. All right, so where are you from? Uh, I came from China. All right, do you like Nike? And how often do you shop for Nike? Yeah, I love, I love Nike and uh, I shop about every month. Do a lot of people in your area buy or wear Nike footwear or apparel? And how popular is it? Yeah, of course, um, I have a basketball team in hometown, and all my teammates wear Nike shorts to play basketball every game. How do Nike advertisements show in day-to-day -day life? I think it's so inspiring, and as we see those Nike advertisements, um, we, were, we were just activated to want to attend some sports. In the end, Nike is a global corporation, and thus shows the homogenization of the global markets as discussed by Levitt in his work on the globalization of markets. In order to feed the global demand, Nike has created a brand that is fashionable, high quality, and relatively inexpensive.